Sometimes it's the smallest acts that make the biggest difference. That idea is the driving force for one Bridgewater man known simply as the soup man. As Liz Nieslaus tells us, his mission is a personal one. I pretty much know my recipe in my head. Soup is on. Those are the carrots. Peter Kelleher's used to cooking for crowds. This pot could serve 80. God, looks good for everybody. It's nice and thick. But when you're cooking for the homeless, it's hard to predict numbers. How you been? Good. Good, good. Smells good. Thank it's you. It's back. He's known as the soup man. Do you like some soup, sir? A moniker and a mission born out of tragedy. I lost the son to opiates. He was on the streets, and he didn't need to be. I couldn't save him. And I beat my head for a while, and, and I came to the point that I had to do something to give back. And I started making hot soup is where it all started. Um and passing it out to the homeless. Come on, Koji, let's go. And now the soup man's brightly painted red bus and van are familiar sights to Brockton's poor and homeless. But it's no longer just soup. You got a hat here? Yeah, okay. Kelleher's inspired communities to get involved. It's lunches made by local families, donated clothes like desperately needed coats, and toiletries like women's personal products. This is great. It's things people don't think about that you might need out there. Volunteers are the backbone of the soup man. Here's extra large men's. It's a great feeling to help the homeless. Uh, they're really are struggling out there. I have small feet. Donna Elliott has been living in a shelter since a fire in her building more than a month ago. And today, boots are no small victory. And your feet is going to be warm. Yeah, they are. Somebody's son, somebody's daughter, somebody's mother out on the street. This isn't acceptable. It's not acceptable for me. And we all take so much for granted. Including a basic shower. Donors paid for this mobile shower. One woman told Kelleher it was her first shower in eight months. Like the bus, the mobile shower is a tribute to son Travis. Every day he's in my mind. I do this for him. I do this. I do this. I loved him. I wasn't the best of fathers. I wasn't. You know, this is, this is helping me deal with my pain. You want some hot soup, ma'am? Yeah. Where is it, right here? Yeah, right here. Thank you. Got it all right? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. I'm good, thank you. You're welcome. You're nice. You need some gloves? Yeah, you do ask me, yes. Okay, we'll get you some gloves. People drive by and look at the homeless people and don't know their story. They should come out here and sit and talk to a homeless person for an hour and then make the decision. But they always yelling out, you crackheads, you losers, and it hurts them. Soup. Want some soup, sir? Thank you, my man. I appreciate it. My pleasure. Savoring soup with a side of compassion. Liz Nislaus, WGBH News. For more information on Peter Kelleher's efforts and how you can help, if you'd like, visit supportthesoupman.org.